want to be able to shoot over your point guards, dunk the ball, get stops, get steals, get plucks, blitz people. This is the build for you. Get back, get back, get back. Oh my. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight to create a player. All of this really doesn't matter. It's all your pref preference. I uh, like left handed, and the number doesn't matter. First off, you wanna make your player a small forward. Uh, I think that's what gets you the most attribute points. And me for this build, I went 6'7 height with a 233 weight. And max wingspan as a lockdown we always want to be max wingspan all right and then the first thing i did 57 close shot a 30 driving layup 50 driving dunk a 90 standing dunk Thirty. What's the trickle? I went with a ninety standing dunk because it gives you go precision dunker. Uh, as a lockdown in comp pro am, you want to have a high standing dunk because you're gonna be able to. It's a bailout being able to stick dunk on having like the point guard on you or when the power four drops late. It's easy. Your meter is big with go precision dunker. It's just a great badge to have and it's easy to do. My mid range is a 87. And my three point is a 79. Um, my personal preference, I just went with a, a 89 free throw because that's where I'm able to put all my points at. But 87 free throw gives you silver blinders, go catch a shoot, having go guard up, go midi magician. Like, Gold MIDI Magician is a great badge to have. Bailout being able to dex into the MIDI and being able to green over the point guard, especially with the gold guard up. Great, great badges to have. Um, Yeah, and the 79 free throw. That's just, I mean, 79 three point, that's just a good rating to have. Um, Oh yeah, and then the 87, the 87 mid range gives you team map base. Trace McGrady base, uh, that's a, a, a glitchy base to have as far as being in a corner and stuff. You can shoot over people. It's, it's, it's good, reliable. It's, it's a good speed. Great bash. I mean, great base to have. I went with a 50 ASAC. I think for me personally, what I've seen is uh, you can have a, a high pass accuracy and your passes still float. So as a lockdown, it's cool. I'm not gonna be throwing like break start, break starter passes like that. I'm mostly gonna be running a break, but this is just good enough so I can still throw passes. And sometimes my passes do zip. So I think this is a great, good enough pass accuracy. And this doesn't matter, but it was a 35 and a 30. The nitty gritty, this is what, this is what we really came here for, for your defense. Put this all the way up to 99 and put this to a 98. Now, 99, half glove, half interceptor, half right stick ripper. Half right stick ripper is one of the most underrated OP badges. Uh, there's a skill gap to this, knowing when to use the right stick ripper and being able to flick your stick and to get steals. I use it, it's great, great badge to have. And then the 98 perimeter. When I put my um strength up and stuff, you'll see it'll be Hall of Fame clamps. But it's for that pick dodger right here, the pick dodger Hall of Fame. Being able to get through screens and not being able to hit them and stuff. Great. Like literally monumental to have. Monumental. Now for my um block, I went with a 68 block. Um Previous locks that I've had, uh, you, I had like no block and it hurts my contest. Like jumping at, at the shooting, I mean the point guards and stuff, shooting the ball. 
So I, I went with a 68 block that gives me great contest on the point PGs. And then my defensive rebound is a 70. Now I didn't put my O, o rebound up, but I put my D rebound up. Just I don't know honestly why. But I do know that I still get offensive rebounds. It's more about your uh it's more about your your positioning on the court being able to get rebounds. So I still get O boards and stuff, to be honest. Uh max out the speed. My acceleration is maxed. And then you wanna go with your strength. My strength is a 90. Now that gets me gold and movable enforcer. Great badge to have, underrated, really underrated badge. Uh, it helps you like get great bumps on on the point guard and stuff in the paint as well. Oh, and yeah, like when you're in the paint, you get great great bumps and stuff. So I think that's a great badge to have. And then your uh, vertical, I think 68, because that gives you a gold rise up. So like I said, that goes hand in hand with the precision dunker and being able to stick dunk and make sure stick dunk's easy. And then yeah, I got gold. I got uh, bronze chase down with the 68 block as well. That's another badge that was important for me. Like it's still it is is great badge to have. Another badge that I forgot to show you about is right here. Um, spot finder, great underrated badge helps me with dexing and getting cuts you got to tap r2 when you're moving and man oh man it gets you wide open a lot so that's another badge that's great with this with this build but look what we get we get og ananobi ron artest and brandon miller uh this is a great two-way build these were all people like og OD um, two-way player. So is Ron Artest in his prime. And then Brandon Miller's a rookie, but he's still good. He's doing his thing. It's a great build to have. I think this build is a, old, is a meta build in today's Pro-Am. Um, in the comp scene, as well as just being an all-around good build to be able to do anything. You can, you're going to be very two-way. You're going to be able to dex, get open, play defense, get stops shoot over your point guard. That's a great build to have.